This is Joe McBride from Lake High School, and I'm supporting Ohio Sports Net.
mean, it means a lot. They were tied first in the league with Jackson, and we were there at second, losing to Jackson and McKinley, and we knew we had to get them. I mean, if we want to win the league or tie to win the league, we got to win the rest out. And, you know, I thought he game planned us well, and we came out, and we all played five on a string. And, I mean, that was the most energy I think we've ever had, that in the Jackson game. And, I mean, that was a crazy game. Great atmosphere, great fans. I mean, both ways. I mean, Hoover played their heart out. We played our heart out. We just, you know, we won down in the end. A lot of people probably didn't expect this tonight. So we still have to understand in this league, if you're up in the upper echelon, you're going to have that target on your back, and how are you going to handle that situation? I can tell you that I knew our focus on Wednesday at practice was probably the best I'd seen in a while here um, since before Christmas. I, I went home Wednesday night and sat at the dinner table, and I told my wife Friday night's going to be one heck of a game. The emphasis with this team because of their inexperience has been growth. That's all I've talked to them about is growth and how are we going to grow and where are we going to grow. When I see that focus and I see that growth, then I know we're at least going to be in a, in a game with a top opponent with four to go, and that's all a coach could ask for. It's kind of like deja vu. Who's, who's the Yogi Berra? You say deja vu all over again? Yeah, that's what it was like. So, you know, they beat us in December by four points, and they were the more physical team, and they, they worked harder than us and outplayed us. And by gosh, they did it again tonight. I wasn't expecting that, but... Well, I give I give Lake and Coach McBride and his staff and their players a lot of credit. They you know they outplayed us and uh, you know we had our chances. We got it you know fought back in the first half and made it a one point game at halftime and it was tied several times in the second half and then they just they made more plays down the stretch than we did. So you know hats off to them. They're a very patient team, so it's not an up and down game yeah. and you know it's going to be a possession game, which we knew, and every possession counts. You know, when you play a game like that, you just can't have bad possessions. You can't have careless turnovers, and we had a bunch of those in the first half. It felt like I haven't looked. you got to get good shots. You know, you got to make sure you're taking really good shots, and I don't know that we always did that. And they just played harder than we did. They were more physical. The referees allowed the game to be pretty physical inside. They handled that better than we did. I just think we do a really good job of kind of knowing their tendencies. We, we knew the tough matchup we thought for us was Telez. We kind of knew where we might have some of those shortcomings and, and we had to dig deep in other spots and really respected the way Nathan Fox has been playing. We kind of held him in check. He had some of those tough left-handers. Yeah. But we just really dug deep what we do every night for 50 minutes in our defensive shell segment. And I, I thought we got loose in that second quarter and we tightened back up and forced tough basketball shots in the second half. You know, hold that team to 20 points in the second half. It's just an outstanding defensive effort. What do you think of McBride's performance, especially the first quarter? You know, he's eating a lot of meals at my house. <laughs> and so I think I'm probably going to feed him again for the next weekend from what I saw tonight. But they're all great kids, you know, and Joe probably has a tough life having his dad as the coach, but I'm impressed with how he's friends with all the guys, he's respected by the team, and he's chosen to be our leader. And other guys have responded to that and followed that lead. And to be able to do that with your dad as the coach and, and really not have a lot of internal hang-ups or you get to do this because of your dad or that um, is a tribute to Joe. And, and, and I'm glad to be a part of it, but as a dad and a coach, I'm glad I don't hamper his growth and his development. And, and it's a very fine line on his own that way. And tonight I'm extremely proud of the way he put the team on his back early and then everybody else responded to him. You just see it in practice sometimes when he's got that focus and that intensity. And, and I've seen him do it before. You know, so it's what he needed to do at this point in his feel of a game to keep us in it. And he's got that green light to do that when he's got that feel. His basketball IQ is extremely high. I mean, he's been in the gym since he was probably three years old. And this is his first love and his first passion. And I thought he did a good job of just staying patient and allowed us to run some things off of ball screens where his man couldn't help. So he understood that role in that particular part of the game and then decided to dig in defensively and got some tips, taps, and deflections that really helped us off. So that's maturity. It's being a three-year player. And it's being, a, again, I hate to say it, a coach's kid and a guy that has a high basketball IQ. And I thought that showed today. He played well. You know, he's a real crafty player. And, uh, you know, I think he's obviously worked on his game because I think he's a better all-around player this year than he was a year ago. And I think he's the leader of their team. You know, the, the other guys feed off of him. 
Uh, he can shoot it, obviously. You know, he drives it. He finds other guys. He takes charges. He does all kind of little things, you know, that, that you want a leader to do. After I made that pull-up jumper, I was like, okay, made, made that one. And then I just I got hot quick. My teammates found me. I'm, I made a couple. And then, you know, from there I just called heat check and had to keep shooting. And <laughs> I kept shooting and they kept going in. So, I mean, I just kept firing. My teammates didn't say anything to me. I mean, I missed the one. I said that's my fault and then tried to get my teammates involved. And if the open shot was there, I took it. And tonight they all went in. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. I mean, especially in an atmosphere like this. I mean, against a top team. I mean, they were number one in Northeast Ohio. And, to do something like that against a team like that, I mean, that's crazy to have 17 in the first half and end with 24. I mean, I got to give it to my teammates, too, though. I mean, they gave me the ball. They didn't hold back. And, you know, Jake Moranville, sophomore point guard, when I'm getting face guarded, drives on the hole a couple times, I think three times, over Black Legend Fox. I mean, that, take gut, that takes guts, and especially for a sophomore like Jake. You got to stay patient, you know, get your teammates involved. If you tell me to stand in the corner and we're running plays where people are getting layups, I'm not going to complain at all, especially when in the overall picture you get a, get a win doing it. So, you know, when they face guarded me, I just kept cool, and then I got open in that corner. Jake Ramble found me and had to let it go, of course, and, you know, that was a big shot. So you know, I think we got to give it up to his game planning. I mean, he watches so much film, and we, we went to a couple games, and he knew exactly what they were going to do on, when we were running our zone, when we were running man. He knew they were going to go 1-3-1. We put a couple plays in, knocked down some threes off of that, and, you know, I think we just bring the energy against a big team like that. And we knew we had to win that game, and, you know, we just got down to it and went out there and played our hearts out.